the fear of mathematics starts right when they are a kid and i believe uh, the problem lies with the way mathematics is presented or it is taught in schools uh, see uh, maths is basically you need a lot of working memory for that by working memory i mean if you are sitting in a class i uh, cannot expect your instructor or your teacher to go over every symbols afresh all the time but it is the teacher's responsibility to get the working memory as like a very natural thing like for example if i write the number 5 on the board i do not have to explain that okay this is 1 2 3 4 5 5 whenever i write the number 5 immediately you have it in mind that okay this is the number 5 but if i write the number 5 in maybe chinese given that we all do not know what chinese is they are all like pictorial things right i do not know how they write five in chinese so i might not register that in my working memory just by seeing it once or even if you write my name on the black even if it's my name i cannot recognize it i might not recognize it for the second time if it's like a very complicated uh, alphabet or complicated letters of that so this is how you need to train your working memory first right and that responsibility lies with the teacher and you have to tell the students that listen math is hard but it's not as hard as you think and you have to invest time for that there is no shortcut for such and that is and math is not the only subject which is hard. there are other harder subjects and for me literature is also a hard subject Because, um, there are so many things in grammar, so many things of uh, framing your sentences. I know many people who are literate in English cannot write uh, a simple letter, which is grammatically perfect, or or uh, the communication is great or something. So this has to start the the thing of not fearing math has to start from school and. the onus is on the teachers to do this and it starts from home as well like parents also need to communicate to their child that listen this is not hard let's put a decent time behind it and the onus is also on the students to get fascinated by the subject if you are not enthusiastic about something if you are not awed by the magic of numbers i would say then you are not getting awed by anything else like as i mentioned in the start like i i got very much fascinated by uh, looking at classes uh i have take names like there were there were uh, i was reading articles for uh, written by martin gard who uh, regularly used to write for the scientific america and many of his articles got translated in my uh, in my uh, in, in bengali on the top and then i had this thing like okay i'm reading the translations what if i get a hand on the actual articles do he have does he write other articles as well and i asked my parents to check whether there are books around uh, the internet was not there obviously i was talking about the uh, 90s and so on. um so I used to tell the booksellers like look out for this guy's book like does he have a book then one day in my local library i found that there is a treasure trove of puzzle books written by uh, by mathematica books like mathematical circles there are books like like uh, on on origami actually so paper folding thing so that there's a lot of maths involved in paper folding mathematical carnival was one of the great books of this next uh, when i was reading like alice in wonderland came to know from the biography that Louis Carroll was actually a mathematician and there are so many mathematical anecdotes there in Alice in Wonderland itself right so and 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 unless and until you get odd by the thing magic doesn't happen and it was a quest for looking behind the scenes which will get to another behind the scenes and so on and so you get fascinated and more fascinated by these things you try to get in the core of it so you need and 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 it should not be like mathematics education should not be constrained within the textbook you have to bring the fun part of it to the class as well like i remember in when i was in class 6 uh, or 
uh, uh, my math teacher one day walked inside the class and he said that hey you tell me any number he came up with numbers one or two digit numbers he said that see i can find any other number and if you multiply those two the answer was all nines and then we started okay sir we are, we are giving a five digit number can we find another number sir and you multiply it to get all nines he could just do it in in i am not saying seconds but obviously we increase the number of digits it took a bit little bit, bit more of time he actually could give me another number where multiply that you get only nines so and then he asked me like can you find that why it's happening can you always find this thing? so the there was a prize of course uh, uh, treated us with chocolates and all but this is the thing like if you ignite a ignite a fire within your students then uh, the, you do not have to worry the student will automatically search for quest for truth is what we all are seeking and that's not limited to only stats or maths that's that's in uh, any subject in in literature as well like i said how i connect literature with uh, with mathematics many people have that